needs to win possession. G'day guys, Aussie FIFA HD and welcome back to yet another episode of my skill move tutorial series where I show you how, where and when to perform a skill move in FIFA 21 today. It's a scombo, it's a scombo, a combo, a skill move combo and that is the fake shot stop into Elastico. What a skill move this is, you're able to stop the ball instantly and then burst off with the Elastico. So without further ado, let's get into the intro and then I'm going to show you guys how to perform the fake shot stop into Elastico. Griezmann, three men around him but somehow finds some space. Ronaldo, fantastic, opening the drive Ronaldo back. On the ball. He's made and it's just the control. He's the control right. display there is absolutely ridiculous. The Elastico on the goal line, on the goal line, the finest of We talked about Aussie FIFA, he's not here to make up the numbers. Perform the fate shot stop into Elastico. It's quite simple. You just need to learn two skill moves. Of course, it's in the name. It's the fate shot stop and it's the Elastico. The Elastico will be the hardest of the two for you guys to learn. But hey, I'm sure you guys can practice in your spare time and hopefully get this skill move combo down pat. But essentially to perform the fate shot stop, it's quite simple of the two skill moves. You just need to perform a fate shot and then subsequently, obviously, uh, let go of the left and lot stick. To perform a fate shot, you need to hold either the cross or the shoot button and then subsequently the pass button afterwards and essentially the player will perform the fate shot. To do the fate shot stop, you need to let go of the left and lot stick and essentially the player will stop still on the spot and as you will see, you can then perform other skill moves afterwards. And namely, the Elastico. The Elastico is a very good skill move to do off the back of a fake shot stop. And the reason why is at the start of the FIFA 21 iteration, let's say, the first patch actually patched the Elastico. It patched how quick and nippy it was. But what EA didn't patch was how quick and nippy the Elastico is when you are still on the spot when you are stationary on the spot. It still has the same effect as what it did pre-patch of the first patch in FIFA 21. Obviously the Elastico when you're moving is a lot slower and a lot less effective. When you're standing still, it still has the same speed and the same effectiveness, so it's still usable. And that's why this is a very good skill move combo. To perform though, the Elastico, essentially what you will need to do is, the angles are the hardest thing, but essentially you need to point in at 90 degrees to where the player is facing and then rotate it all the way around to 180 degrees. So we're talking from a clock perspective also, this makes it easier for you guys to understand. It's from three o'clock rotating all the way around to six o'clock. Now it will depend on which direction the player is facing. If I get just a control here for you, it's entering in 90 and then it's going all the way around to 180 and essentially the player will perform the Elastico. And you see in front of your screen, it's quite easy once you get the angles right and you're able to do the movement, okay? And that's what, that's what will take the longest uh, for you guys to learn. However, as you've seen, it's quite effective. If you can perform this, lads, in muscle memory, you guys will be having a ball in your FIFA 21 attacking game. But without further ado, let's get into where you should use this skill move combo. Moving into where you should perform the fate shot stop into Elastico. For me, I have found pretty much anywhere. You can use it in the midfield, on the edge of the 18 yard bots, and of course, in the 18 yard bots. And why this is effective is because you can stop the ball instantaneously and then burst off into the, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to look for words here, into the available space in the bots and essentially you can make the shot, make a play, make a pass and essentially score a goal and that's what I've found. It's really good for stopping and then changing direction and really it's probably useful in any, uh, any uh, you know, area of the pitch. Unlike other skill moves where I recommend to you guys, you should use it on the wing, you should use it in the bots, only in the bots, you know, but I've found this skill move combo is very good in most places, in the midfield in the wing area, in the bots, on the edge of the 18-yard bots, anywhere. And for me, 
It's one of the most versatile skill moves in terms of where you can use it on the pitch. Without further ado though, let's get into when you should guys use you guys should use this skill move. Moving into when you should use the fate shot stop into Elastico. The essentially well essentially the best time I have found is when you're side by side or in front, directly in front of the defender. And the reason why is because you can fake shot stop and stop stationary on the spot and essentially it will leave your defender standing there waiting for you to make your next move. With the Elastico, when you hit him with the Elastico, it's very, very hard to read because of how quick it is. So I have found the best time to use it is essentially when you are side by side or directly in front of a defender once you perform the fade shot stop and then hit him with the elastico and essentially it's hard to read it's hard to keep up with and because of how quick it is you're off into the dust and you're leaving your defender in the dust you're off into the in to the distance so i have found the best time is essentially when you're one-on-one -on -one with the defender and uh that will happen once you perform that fade shot stop okay so because the defender has to stop obviously, to try and make a defensive tackle or to try and read what you're doing. But when you hit him with the Elastico, as I was saying before, you're off. And that's the best thing about it. But for me, lads, I find this is actually a very good skill move combo. I've started implementing it into my game recently, and it's been getting me good results, especially in my attacking gameplay. And it's been screwing me goals. So be sure to implement it into your game. But that will signal the end of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash a like. Drop a follow on my Twitter. Link is in the description down below. I do post over there when I'm uploading a new episode. So be sure to stay posted over there and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button i really do appreciate your guys support from the bottom of my heart but without further ado and as always i hope you guys have a good day i'm out have a good one and peace